Here's our little girl. She, this is, uh, I, I wish, like I said yesterday, I so, so wish I knew her story of how she got to be where she was because somebody um, put a lot of loving into this girl. Um, she, she just is a sweetheart. Can you hear her? Can you hear her? Hi, everybody. And Zasha says, thank you for your good thoughts and prayers. I did great yesterday. Dr. Darcy and all the vet techs took very good care of her. They love her. I talked to Chris, who's my friend that works there, and um, she said that she was really a nice kitty bird and was just so easy to work with. So Dr. Darcy took that big thing off of her ear and she did a phenomenal job with that ear. I was not expecting to have that much ear left. So the um, that tumor goes in uh, today and it'll be back probably a week from today. And uh, if, if it comes back where there's some uh, cancer into that then we'll just go back in and we'll probably do that here and take that take more off but uh, Dr. Darcy thought that it, it was going to be okay but we never know until you know we get the results back she put some fancy sutures in there too you're going to have to hold really still for me to get those out there's a bunch of tiny ones Oh, we're going to have fun with that. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Such a love. Such a love. And then her leg. Um, did she put a running stitch in that? Yeah. Yeah, some of these sutures will come out um, next week, and then the rest of them will come out in two weeks. But uh, she did. She did really, really well. Yeah, and Dr. Darcy confirmed that there was no save in that leg. You know what? Then we have to work on is getting all this yellow gunk off of you. Yeah. Eventually, maybe we'll have to do another scrubbing beauty bath. Mm -hmm. She says, okay, whatever you want to do, just pet me, hold me, touch me, love on me. Her appetite's good. She's on, uh, um, she's been on one long-acting antibiotic, and that's still good. Uh, when is it? A week from Tuesday? And then she's on a daily antibiotic. That's a very good. A very good antibiotic. And then she's actually on um, three different types of soreness med. And one of them will be today. She'll get all three of them. Tomorrow we'll, we'll knock the one down. And she'll be on the other two for a couple of days. And then the last one she'll be on for a few more days. A few more days after that. She says, yeah, I feel pretty good. I don't know if you can hear her purring. Yeah, we don't know what that is, Scotty. You know, sometimes when cats come in here and they have the eye discharge and really uh, the upper respiratories and, you know, cats will lick their paw and then wipe their eyes and it makes their pads or their paws yellow but she her eyes were crystal clear when she arrived so i i don't know and when i gave her a bath i specifically worked on um those legs and her mouth and chin but it just it just didn't give so we'll see we'll have to see did i miss a toenail oh i i don't think i actually did your nails yet she, I think she would stay here all day just to be held and loved on. So you got a raise to go. She's got to be spayed yet, and uh, and her teeth. Oh, her teeth need some work. Yep. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, I don't. I just don't know what it is. It's not. It wasn't sticky or anything. Boy, Dr. Darcy put some mighty small fine sutures in there. Yours are so um, vascular, and sometimes I know when we do uh, the ear tips here, they, they just like to bleed. 
but that is awesome. She did a great job. All right. <laughs> Are you ready? All right. You ready to go back? Oh, and her heater pad is in the microwave right now as we speak. Oh, thank you, Sherry. You know what? Everything we do here is because you folks help us and support us. Every Everything you guys do, everything that we do is a result because we've got the support from you folks. Oh, yeah, you know, that age is kind of questionable. And, uh... Yeah, they, they're thinking maybe older also. I put her down as four or five with a big old question mark. Um, but um, we'll redo that again when Dr. Darcy comes in November. But yeah, I'm thinking she's going to be a little bit older. Oh yeah, she ate really good this morning. She, she came in hungry and she's eaten well since then. Yes, Dan, I think so, too. All right, you ready? <laughs> These are the ones you hate to let go. So so my granddaughter, Gracie, you know how you all know how she loves Zastria. So she's going to baby Zastria up, uh, continue until she goes. She'll be leaving tomorrow, uh, excuse me, a, a week from yesterday, Thursday. And then she's already said... Um, that when Zastria goes, then she'll claim her for a while until she's adopted. <laughs> so it's nice. It's nice to have the kids here to do that extra attention. Yeah, she's just purring and relaxing. <laughs> what are you doing, you little rascal? You're into everything. No, you're not going to be sniffing her. You can look at her leg there. You see who she is? Uh huh. Zasha doesn't care. That's her. Yeah, I know. She smells kind of different. She's probably got medicine smell on her. All right, I'm going to take her back. Come on, you little baby. You dear kid. 